In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change the background in Jamboard. Welcome back to Google Tutorials, where we give you the best tips, tricks, and tools to grow your confidence online. If you haven't watched the last two episodes, there'll be a link in the description box below, as well as the playlist in the top right of your screen. Basically, what we did in the last two episodes is we showed you how to access Jamboard and all of the basic features. To change your background, all you need to do is go to the top navigation bar on your Chrome tab, where it says undo, redo, zoom in, background and clear frame. In this case, we want to change our background, so we need to click on background. Then it will open this box here with a few different options. So you've got blank, which is what your default one is. Then you've got dots, which is good for if you're doing 3D shapes or modeling. You've got lined, which is good for if you're doing literacy, grids, which is useful for when you're doing maths, darker grids, which is useful for if you're doing something like blueprints or to make the grids more visible. You've got solid blue, and the final option is solid black. The few backgrounds which I'd recommend going on the most are the line backgrounds, the squared background, as well as the solid color ones. The reason why you do want to go for the lined one is if you're doing literacy or trying to do online handwriting. And a reason why you may want to go for the squared paper background is if you're doing numeracy online as a screen recording or as a, a lesson. So that's how you change the background in Jamboard. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and comment down below what you think of the new format. And I'll see you on Friday.